What's up YouTube? Uh, started working on the camp stove I showed you the other day. Um, we'll go over what I did so far um, and then you know cut the video off. I'm gonna do the stove pipe on the top and uh, we're gonna take it outside and see how it works. So what I did is drilled for all four legs. Um, used a um, 5 16 all thread, uh, washers, nuts, and then here I cut the door with a uh, safety can opener, riveted a couple of the hinges that I showed you before on, and then uh, riveted this little latch on. So opens right up, and that's what you got so far. Um, I'm gonna go stick it, you know, in the ground and see uh, see how sturdy it is, and maybe even try to put a you know a little small pot or something on it that I have for camping and see how it works out. Maybe burn all the paint off the outside of it. I'm sure it'll do that, but you know. Just wanted to show you where we're at so far and uh, stay tuned. We're going to have a little more and then we're going to show the knife at the end of the video that we're going to be giving away when we get a thousand subscribers. Okay, so now what I've done is I cut a hole in the top here and I used a piece of uh, directional pipe and I just cut, cut that end off of that with a flared end on it. So what you wind up with is a piece of pipe that you can put on here like so and then you can have this in just like that so we're going to take it outside now we're going to put some wood in it i got a little bit of pine out there and we're going to try to uh see how it does and uh we'll be back in a minute all right so you can see we got the pipe on it now we filled it up with some shavings and we got the old uh, cotton ball in there somewhere. We got to try to find it. Um, but we're going to get it fired up here.
it. So it's obviously burning all the paint off the side of the can. We'll come back to it in a few minutes. See how it's doing. Well, as you can see, it's still going. It's got a little sideways on the on the snow here. Uh, it keeps getting hotter and hotter and kind of falling to one side. So we're going to let it burn out. And then uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so we moved it down off of that. Put it straight on the ground here. Um, seems to be going good. Um, got a little piece down here on the bottom. It's nice and warm. Um, sorry for the movement on the video. I mean, you, you know, it's you can feel heat from here. If you had it in a, you know, in some kind of a shelter or whatever, it'd probably keep it a little bit warmer. Um, it does got some heat coming off of it. I just put pine um, that I had some scraps laying around. I just put that in there to uh, give it a test run and see how it was going to do. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, it looks like it's doing good burn a lot of paint off of it uh, that didn't smell so hot uh, obviously but uh you know when it burnt a little plastic handle off the front of it but i mean i'm just going to close it with a piece of wood or something and open it up but yeah works great i mean a couple dollars and um you know a little little redneck ingenuity i guess you might call it and uh there you go it uh it works pretty well um i'm gonna let it burn off like i said and we're gonna go in and talk about the uh, knife giveaway I'm going to show a video of that. Um, it'll be in this video here. So stay tuned uh, for a few minutes and uh, let me watch this thing and then we'll go inside and we'll talk about the other knife. Okay, we're back. Um, pretty successful test on that little camp stove that we got, you know, nothing in. Um, and it was interesting to build. Um, Learn a few things on that small little build. But, you know, survival techniques that, you know, they tell you be inventive and uh you know i thought that was pretty inventive maybe it's not but uh if you do small things like that i think it helps hone your skills obviously i showed you a spoon video a couple i don't know a couple nights ago very 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 simple i think like i said i never carved a thing in my life and that was uh you know that thing came out pretty good a little bit of sand and put a little beeswax on it and uh you know it's a good little camp spoon so you know it's uh like i said i think if you just do small things like that and try to build your skills um, you can do a lot better. Uh, all right, so on to the knife. Um, last knife we give away, um, got in contact with uh, Zombie Man Hunter 31, I think it was. Um, we're going to get that shipped out to him. He was very happy about winning that. Um, but this is going to be, you know, a little bit better than that. So what we got here is a CFK knife. You guys know I love CFK. Um, you know, it's a it's a custom made knife. Whether it's made, I don't care where it's made. I thought said that in the other video. It, no matter what, it's a custom-made knife. It's handmade. It's not, uh, you know, I don't think they punch them out, you know, in blanks or whatever, uh, like some of these other companies do. You get a leather sheath with it. Knife overall is about about a little over 18 inches. Um, blade looks like it's around 14 and a half, by 14 and a quarter total. Um, you know, for the from here to here, I think the total blade is about. Looks like it's about. I want to say three and a three and three quarters three and seven eighths um it is damascus um and the handles are um kind of almost like a ladder pattern um micarta it's got a lanyard hole in it and it's got two brass pins here in it um you know it's a pretty solid knife it's got uh you know it's got some nice scroll scroll work on the back i don't know if you can get that in the picture the lighting down here kind of stings um but you know it's not uh it's not bad and for free Again, you know, you just can't go wrong. Uh, like I said, I think on this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a 1,000 subscribers, and we're going to give this knife away. It's going to be a random giveaway, just like the other one was, um, and we'll get it shipped out to whoever. Um, again, you know, I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, watches the videos. Um, I know a lot of people are busy. You know, I'm a pretty busy guy, so I don't get them out like I'd like to. Um, but I do appreciate everybody that watches, likes, and subscribes, and comments. Uh, if you got any comments on the little stove, you know, feel free to, you know, drop us a, you know, a comment in the in the comments below. But we're happy to hear from everybody, and we try to respond to everybody we can. Um, again, this is Brandon with Downsoft Survival. We appreciate everything you do for us, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. I can see it in